Well, I think it's important to point out that the this administration does not look at Islamicism as a political movement. In fact, they deny its existence. But one of the things I've had to confront is that a lot of the things that were driving this issue, although, of course, President Obama escalated, were all in full motion under the Bush administration. For example, with Secretary Chertoff, when he was at DHS, who put out the memo saying we couldn't use Islam, Caliphate Jihad, or UMA, the language of Islam, to define Al-Qaeda. And, of course, Al-Qaeda defines itself according to Islamic law. So in truth, the 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 turn against being factual in analysis of recognizing the Islamic movement as a movement really started under the Bush administration. And I think when um, Obama came on board, he just accelerated that, that trend. Do you feel that uh, uh, President Obama has an agenda uh, to uh, cover up for Islamism? Well, I, it's hard to say whether he has an agenda to cover up for Islamicism, but I would say is that we could see that he's clearly taking policies that are friendly to the Muslim Brotherhood. And in doing that, he's brought them into the organizations much more than President Bush ever did. And when that happens, we end up relying on their inputs to make decisions that our national security have a national security implication. And my great concern is we've frozen out people who are actually professional intelligence analysts professional national security analyst who would have come up with fundamentally different pictures. So uh, that, that's how I would answer it. With uh, awareness of this, uh, do you feel that uh, Secretary of State Clinton will make changes uh, if she's elected? Uh, to the Bush, to the uh, to the Obama administration. I mean, uh, uh, this uh, philo uh, Islamism uh, uh, with uh, uh, baby hands. No, I actually think that there's a, we're seeing something that is accelerating over time, and I don't see any reason to think she wouldn't accelerate that. And how about under Republican administration? Well, it depends on who the Republican is. I think that we have really good indications that uh, um, Trump would, would try to stop that. There are other re Republicans who are not in the running, who are not running, who it's hard to say they would have done anything different. But between Trump or, or, or Clinton, what do you see as the future if Clinton wins? Well, I think we'll see, with, if Clinton wins, we'll see an acceleration of what's happening. I think if we see Trump win, we're going to see some disruptive activity where he's going to try to stop this, and we'll see how things escalate or how they don't. But I, I definitely think that what, what's happening with Trump is there's a, a definite uh, uh, worldview that wants to seriously change course from what we're seeing going on today. Claire Lopez has alleged that there are uh, Muslim Brotherhood um, friends who've been appointed in, in, the, in the government. How do you feel about that? Well, I would have to see the names. We are pretty clear, we're pretty sure that there are Muslim Brotherhood associations, affiliations inside our national security apparatus that serve as consultants and stuff like that. I'm, I'm comfortable saying that. I, I would have to take a look at specifically what she said and who she was naming. Um, but um, my, my, my position is I don't take, I don't, I'd have to see it and I have to know it was true before I said. Uh, how has the awareness evolved um, since, uh, oh, you got to go? Okay. Um, do you think there's a greater sensitivity now towards uh, what we're facing uh, with, within Washington? Well, I think that what you're seeing is in Washington, they're starting to have to react to the population that understands there's a serious problem. I think what you see with Trump is Trump is, is someone who's captured that feeling. Even I'm not even sure sometimes he understands everything he's writing right now himself. But so, yes, I think people are starting to be aware of that. I think it's because Al-Qaeda and ISIS and the Brotherhood have stepped up their program, and it's now in the public view in such a way that they, people cannot cannot walk away from it. In that regard, I think public attention is, is going that way and we're going to see it escalate. You, you bet.